Hello. Hi. I've just been in an accident. Indeed you have. But it seems your powers of observation remain keen. Please, get in. I'll give you a ride to the next town. What, what is the next town anyway? Is it far? All roads around here lead to Lano, and no, it's not very far away at all. Please, get in. They'll send someone out to clean up all of this. Thank you so much for stopping and helping. Uh, my name is Dolores Lovecraft, by the way. Angelo. Angelo de las Mortes. But you can call me Angel. So, uh, what kind of work do you do? I'm a, an herbal and vitamin rep, so there's lots of travel. I'm in acquisitions. My employer is a collector. And yes, I travel extensively. Well, at least I get to be home every night. My area is fairly local. Ah, uh, yes, the comforts of hearth and home. I myself shall not be seeing home for quite some time to come. That sounds sad. Why don't you just tell your boss he needs some time off to be home, you know? It doesn't really work like that. We have an arrangement by consequence. So, how does that work out? Consequence? To some action or deed, specifically in mind. I'm not sure I know what you mean. Consequence. It's a basic law of existence. Not unlike for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So if you hit a wall with your fist, then the wall hits you back just as hard. Oh, look at that great old house. Hey, what in heaven's name are you doing? Well, we have a little time to kill, and I just love to look at these old houses. This one's for sale anyway. Does this remind you of home? Is your house very old? No and yes. The home I left was far grander than this, and it is as old as the stars. But as I said, I won't be seeing it for some time to come. Because of consequence. Precisely. All right. I think I understand consequence. It has to do with the whole thought to action thing, right? Like, if you have a thought, and you say, voice that thought, and put that into action, then you get a result or a consequence, right? Precisely again. However, there are unintended consequences to thoughts and deeds. Like when you hit the wall with your fist and you break your finger. Okay, so does this have anything to do with um, the road, the road to hell is a uh, the road to hell is paved with, with good, good intentions. intentions. Like when you're trying or you're intending on doing one thing and I don't know, the result is the complete opposite of what you were trying to do. Right again. I'm afraid we have to be leaving. I have an appointment I have to keep. All business now, are you? When it's time for business, yes. I only have a brief errand to run, and I will deliver you to the hands of safety and restoration, I promise. So I get to see you in action. So to speak, although I don't think you're going to enjoy it. Perhaps a brief history lesson is in order. In 1882, here in Lano, there took place a tremendous gunfight between two men. In the end, one of them, a former Texas Ranger, was dead. The other, also a former Texas Ranger, they were shooting at each other, by the way, was severely wounded. And a teenage boy, who was also one of the assailants, was shot and died in his father's arms. That's absolutely horrible. Yes, it was, but as Creator's Universe works in cycles, it's about to happen again. Two men 
intent on satisfying their moral sense of justice are going to kill a teenage boy this day on the courthouse square. In just a few minutes, in fact, so we really must be going. No, wait a second. Are you trying to tell me that you know two men are going to kill a boy? Yes. So you're going to try to stop it, right? No, I can't. What do you mean you can't? If you know it's going to happen, then you can do something. I mean, try calling the police for heaven's sake. It wouldn't do anything to change the results, however unintended they will be. Are you in on this murder? Are, are you some sort of sick freak who gets off seeing people die? Listen to me. The only way to change the outcome is for one or both of them to have a change of mind, a moment of clarity, if you will. Well, surely the police can stop it. It's two police doing the shooting, at each other, no less. Look, you don't seem to understand what I'm trying to tell you. that your powers of observation remain keen. I'm dead. Oh no. No more tears, Dolores. Not anymore. You're going home. Where is home? Is it wonderful? It is a house of many rooms, one of which has been prepared for you, and for you also. Angelo. <laughs> Angel. Always makes a good medium of transfer. Go ahead. Everything and everyone awaits you. It's so beautiful. Aren't you coming with us? No, I can't. Not now. Perhaps never. I've never dreamed of anything so wonderful. Angel, come with us. This is your journey. Goodbye. Angel. Thank you.
stars have been born and died since I've been here. Will I ever, can I ever come home? Consequence. Oh. In the great book of John When you will be laid Beneath the cold way The angel of death Will come from the sky And claim your fair soul When the time comes to die